97.9 Vox, Young Jazz with the Jews here. Two very special guests in the studio right now. I got the queen of Zeus Network. Oh, no. Natalie, yes. not up in here. Look, you run in L.A., you coming to Texas, taking over. How I'm you feeling? I'm having a ball. You know, Texas is always a vibe. I love Houston. You already started hard last night, right? Shout out to I Molo did. one time. I Molo. We was at Heart. Mm -hmm. It went up. She had those signs. Like, her marketing is crazy. Let's talk about how the yes. signs had, like, Tommy laid out on the floor. Did you see what she did last <laughs> week? So cool she, they she did, did, like, a Cardi and Offset McDonald's meal party, and, like, Cardi retweeted it and stuff. Man, it was like, damn, how ambitious. Oh, play. I did see. Were you on the bull? No, I went on the bull. <laughs> I was like, I was no, they were trying to get me on the bull. I said, what the hell I look like riding that thing like that? <laughs> that shit was flying. Them girls was flying, like, off of the bull. I, I like, heard no. you put $1,000 out for the girl that can I, ride the bull to this. I did. I gave one girl, I gave her $500 because she was just like, she went crazy on that shit. Mm -hmm. And she really wasn't like supposed to be competing because she was like one of Molo's like girls that worked there. Yeah. But I was like a thousand dollars to one of the other people who was just in the club. And they started getting up there riding that shit. Big money. You be throwing big money. I mean big yeah. money. Also, Lo, introduce yourself too. Your first time on my show. What's yes. this? London. Thanks for having me. It's your girl Low London, you know, Baddie's West Star. Yes. yes. Oh, 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 the star of the show star right now. Of the show, you know. I love that. Bring it all the class. Yes. yes. Okay, so speaking of Natalie, we gotta do a quick rewind. For those who don't know you, like tell everybody like how you first got started. Um well me and Lo, Lo and I we go back bad girls club days, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I've been doing this reality shit for like fifteen years. Mm -hmm. And know? what made you wanna get like from behind the camera, like doing more stuff, you know, producing and all that kind of stuff? I mean, I just have been on so many shows. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like, I could do this shit myself. For right. Real? Or in my sleep. Uh -huh. Yeah, for real. Like I I used to like it just it came to a point where I was like, let me tell y'all what we should do next for this mm. episode mm -hmm. on the shows. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of got to the point where I was like, I'm outgrowing it, but I am still talent because the fans that have been watching me for so long, they want to still see me on. You know I'll that. be like, oh, next season I'm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> and then like it's not that it's not gonna. Yeah, happen. how do you know like when like okay you're like okay I'm producing this stuff and then you're like let me go ahead and step on the camera like how do you decide? Yeah, it, that's that's gonna be difficult. Yeah. Like I, I, that's gonna be really hard. Mm -hmm. um, like I just feel like even if I wanted to like step back more, mm -hmm. it's like somehow I get dragged into Everyone's it. Everyone's like, used that. to you being on the camera yeah, too. The they be like, where Natalie me. at? Yeah, but it is like to the point now where it's like okay, because like the what episode that just aired, they're like, you're playing both sides. You're like <laughs> over there with this girl, then you're over here with her, and I'd be like, I don't give a fuck what they <laughs> argue about. <laughs> Like, I'm not getting in the middle of this shit. Right. But if you go back, like, 15 years, I used to be like, well, team low. Right. And fuck that bitch. Because, like, now I'm like, oh, man. You don't grow from there. You try to stay in the yeah. But how can you stay in the middle when I feel like you fuck with everybody? Like, everybody, you know, you fuck with everybody. I fuck with everybody. For real? Uh-oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. So hold up. Some, some of the beef is real. Yeah, and yeah. All, sure. all, the all the beef is real. real. All the beef is real? Yeah, it's up with a lot of bitches on the show. I can't oh. wait for the reunion. <laughs> oh. I'm so, I do not have time for the reunion. I'm like, I'm trying to be cute. You can't even be cute around these girls. Because you never know who's going to be ready to fight. What? No, we know everyone's ready to fight. So I don't know why the girls come in there in, like, gowns sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? I'm coming in sweatpants. I, want, I saw you at the last reunion. I'm coming I was sweatpants. like, Natalie had up. on a sweatshirt, her hair in a bun. Yeah, she, was, she knew what time it was. I'm yeah. coming in a gown. It's that time every care, time like. with the baddies. How do you manage and, like, deal with all that shit? It's just like, I, I feel like there's an on and off switch. So like when I'm on set and we're doing the show, okay, mm -hmm. it's up. Mm -hmm. But like right now I'm about to start Bad Boys and I'm executive producing the Bad Boys. Like I don't, I'm not about to sit online, mm -hmm. argue and go <laughs> back and forth with the girls. Like You're I'm working. on a whole other show now. Right. So I can't be dealing with like, you know, and then like right now, Stunner Girls text me. Yeah, I got so-and-so online <laughs> saying this. Biggie's doing this. I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck, bro. <laughs> I'm on a whole nother like set. I don't even know what's going on. Like. So you got to turn it off and on. Like, you just that. have to do that. Speaking of bad boys, too, yeah. you're down here in Houston to do that, right? How far along have y'all already gotten? No, we just, we're about just to start. Just the auditions, yes. that's it. Yes, we did the auditions. Mm -hmm. So we have, um, we definitely have a, 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 a fire-ass cast for bad boys. Wow. Are you going to tell us about the cast? Yeah, the today? cast like, is lit. We want to hear the cast. Yes. Everybody like, wants to hear the can cast. Can we get the cast? Okay, like, if everyone in this a room swears peek. to see God, <laughs> they're not. Everybody nah. in the room swears. It's coming out tomorrow. Give us, just, just give they're us like, three people from no, the cast. No, we can't do it. Can we do some hints But then? I'll tell you this. Okay. We have some Texas bad boys on there. Jonathan? Okay. Jonathan? I can't What's up, Jonathan? <laughs> Jonathan? I don't know. Jonathan? Y'all are so funny. And then we definitely have, like, we have some mega stars. Like new. Mega new, new people stars. that have not been on the show before. No, mega. Like big, like big household names. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like people are going to be really excited to see them. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like we also have a big mega uh, musician. 
So we have someone in the music industry. Okay. That's like a big name, a household name. Mm -hmm. And I just think people are going to be excited. Like, we, we have a good balance. I think last season, a lot of people thought it was like um, a show more targeted for, you know, like... Uh, the guys were majority gay. Yeah. But I, this season, it's it's a more of a balance. So okay. It's like, you know, half and half. Oh. And I, I kind of made so sure that. So there's going to be guys on there. Drama. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. okay. I, I wanted people, because a lot of people kept saying, oh, it's like all gay guys. And, and that that really well, wasn't supposed bad. to be the the audience was just supposed to be for gays. No, I wanted it to be for everybody. Like, to me, a bad boy is, is across the board any kind of a guy that's lit, turned up with the shit. That's true. All of that. So I wanted it to be more of a balance. So that's definitely... The cast is giving. It's, I'm very excited. I can't believe this. <laughs> and some big Texas people out of Texas. Like, yeah. Some big you don't Texas know, people. She like, I don't, I don't, know, know, I don't know anything. No. So, okay. All I know is Baddie's West is going up. <laughs> Baddie's West. Go Tell us about your experience being on Baddie's West. Like, yeah, hello. Baddie's West. Um, hmm. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> first of all, Natalie set me up. What? How'd she I was set out you? here in Houston <laughs> having some drinks. It was Taco Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Y'all already know how we go up out here on Every Taco day. Tuesday. And Natalie called like, hey, Lo, I got something for you. <laughs> We're filming Baddie Twist. We're going to be getting to the bag, going on tour. Like, she nothing like, like that. Nothing like it used to be on Bad Girls Club. <laughs> nothing. She was like, so come out. We're going to be getting money, going on a tour. I'm like, oh, that sound cool. That's cute. Be back on TV, stunning a little bit. Yeah. 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 She's like, yeah. And I was like, Natalie, but what you want me to do on there? Like, because right. I'm not Lauren from, I'm not Lo from BGC. Like, you know, I'm uh -huh. so far over there. That was yeah. 10 years ago. Right. She's like, no, I just want you to come be you. <laughs> girl, like, like, okay, sure. Second day, I'm in a fight. I already know. Second I already know day. Why. And Krishan had no reason to attack you like that. But when Krishan on that second day jumped on low, I was mm -hmm. hot. I was really upset with Krishan and the and I'm and you saw everybody saw. I like. But you know she's I, right. jumped, I up jumped up before up before, se before security did mm -hmm. because. I'm not going to have, like, my former bad girls that were stars on Bad Girls Club that really put Bad Girls Club on the map. Thanks. Like, we're not going to have, like, we're going to, like, the new girls have to have respect for the OGs. But do they? They don't. But that's why I be here in, in the mix regulated. And I'm like, bro, you can't be just jumping on her. Like, right. I don't know who the fuck, oh. you don't know, but you're going to find out right, right. now. Cause she about to come back downstairs and get her lick in again. Oh. Cause this is an OG. Every day, it could be every OG, day. OG, <laughs> not, we just we didn't been doing like she said. You've been doing it for ten years, yeah. right? I mean, we the blueprint for the city girls, exactly. for all the thought girls, yeah. hotties, <laughs> everything. <laughs> BGC, Bad we the blueprint club. for that. Everybody's like we been did that. True. We been right? living it's this true. life. Like we ain't just pop out. Like oh, we just. And oh, all night. of the, and why you know the funny thing you say that is is like a lot of the like city girls and the uh, Lotto she mm -hmm. her TikTok one of her most TikTok views was her reenacting a whole Bad Girls Club right. scene. They love to reenact iconic. the Bad Girls Club scenes. Iconic. It's iconic. So we are really like the blueprint of the <laughs> like we are the bitches. Are the ratchet, right. the we the city girl, girls. The up girl. <laughs> like yeah, like that's true. So how do you go into like casting and picking people and stuff for this? That's show? very well. difficult now. Like, our auditions are insane. Y'all be having, like, how many people? Thousands and thousands and thousands it's and thousands much. and thousands. I think at the last one, when we held it in the Bay Area, which was my hometown in mm -hmm. Oakland, we had, like, over 7,000, 8,000 people come out. We only had the space for, like, five hours to mm -hmm. go through all them people. So we had Ooh. to split the girls up in different rooms. So we had, like, some of the former OG bad girls. Mm -hmm. it, like, you know, you had to go through them to get to the next panel, to get to us. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, my panel was, like, me, Suki, and Tommy. Mm -hmm. And it was a lot. And then we we take the ones that get the tickets. And th that might be, like, 2,000 people out of the seven or 8,000, and mm -hmm. we have to break it down to 10 girls. So it takes a while during the auditions. Yes, yeah, so it was crazy. And everybody's it? always fighting in the auditions. But I'm like, I'll be like, how are you going to fight one of the judges? <laughs> and still get in, though. Still, still get in. Because like, like, my messy ass love that shit. You know, I'm like, I'm like, ooh, I loved her. I loved her. She's been fighting since. She's been fighting since the audition every day. I'm like, damn, she is on the girl fighting every episode. She has fought on every episode. Why? Because she ain't playing with them. She ain't scared. She's not scared. And everybody was like, so it, it started off with Tommy because mm -hmm. she was mad about the auditions. Right. So I was like, I already knew that was kind of going to be a thing. But, mm -hmm. like, it was day one. Like, we just got to the photo shoot, and she's snatching that bitch up. I, I was know. like, yo, 
Okay, God damn. I like her style. <laughs> I like, I like, like when she movement. explained it to me, like, okay, like th- when I said I was going to see her again, it was on site. So she was like, I guess when I see her again for the first time, I don't right. care about y'all photo shoot. She did. I'm like, well, And shit. then the crazy thing is, is she was like, run the tapes back, like to the auditions, because Tommy mm-hmm. kept saying, I didn't do that. It, yeah. They ran the tape back and she made no, all of that. She what? was doing the most. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. Like, what nah, did Tommy crazy. be doing? Everything. Nah, like, what she and then I don't think doing? she'd be remembering what she's doing because she'd be so fucked up. She'd be drunk. Example, and so then, the fight. Th- I, that's what I, I'm saying. I don't, I don't, it's just how it looks. I mean, I don't know about that. I, I don't know if she was drunk or what she Bro. was. She just always she be just Tommy. So we can't, like, she, the first thing she'll say is, oh, I don't remember. I didn't do that. Like, what? <laughs> what do you what you did that? Tommy be wildin'. Do y'all have actual beef now after the fighter? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Still? Like, she, yesterday, y'all are not gonna be in the I same room. I was trying to tag her yesterday uh, from she mobile. Blocked she blocked you. me. She really said, blocked hey, you. Hey, don't block me. <laughs> I see y'all hugging out at the end of the fight. Nah, because, because, that's because, what I was saying. I'm like, no, okay. Because it was a sporting event. Right. And I think at the end of the day, you know, we wanted to respect Floyd Mayweather. Mm-hmm. And he had already, from the press conference, from the like weigh ins, <laughs> like he was already like, they don't know how to act. Yeah. And so I think at that point, she was like, well, let me try to clean it up a little bit. It, but as she walked away, she's like, "Bitch, you gonna see me when we get back home?" Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I don't like. Like, like let's yeah. keep business, business. Right. Like, I don't have no personal beef with you. Like, this a show we filming. Like, this a fight. We both getting paid. We both mm-hmm. getting big bags. Facts. Like, what you yeah. mad about still? Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, and then it, she yeah. just that's Tommy. So I'm blocked now. <laughs> and then she's going around telling everyone that I paid her to lose the fight. Oh. She's just doing something. I mean, that's just... what bosses do, though. You're a big yeah. boss. You could have. <laughs> you you could have paid, paid another but I show. Didn't, but record. I didn't. You and did I, not pay her to get me no, like that. No, and she keeps saying that. Like, she's doing, like, interviews and saying I paid her. I'm like, Tommy. The fact that she laid down for her, though. <laughs> that she was so tired. how much you laid down for her? Yeah, because that's Y'all what... did training, though, right? Natalie yeah, training. I, that's the problem. <laughs> I saw you training. She was on... calling me every day. Like, I literally was walking into, like, sparring sessions mm-hmm. and for, like, two weeks straight. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I'm about to train. She goes, bitch, you know. Let me face something. Oh, she didn't and, think it was for real, for real. But <laughs> she knew it was for real, for real. Like, mm-hmm. we both got paid a nice amount of money to do the actual fight. So I don't know why you would think you would get a check like that and, like, it was a game. Like, this shit was never a game. She knew that, and I told her every day when she called. She was looking cute at her work. Right? <laughs> she, was, she, she had on outfits, her hair was did, sunglasses, <laughs> makeup. She, she had, had on sunglasses makeup. at every single she workout. She had on makeup at like, one workout. Yeah. I feel like maybe she thought it was some TV shit for real. Yeah, but the thing is, like, she they made it very clear. Like, y'all, <laughs> I mean, this y'all is was... a, you guys are the co-main event right. for an undercard for Floyd Mayweather. Right. Like, what? Th- this is not a game. So many people in their careers, like, in boxing mm-hmm. would do anything to be an undercard for any type of an event right. with That's Floyd major. Mayweather. That's major. That's huge. Yeah, also I mean, for those who don't know, how did how did the fight come about? Like, why did y'all decide yeah, so to do the fight? Yeah, so it was not. So two years ago, Tommy had called me out on some random uh, celebrity boxing thing that was going on, mm-hmm. and I didn't even know who the girl was. At that point, I had never even met her. No way. But you yeah, didn't know she it. just oh. randomly tagged me in a versus battle. It was like some versus <laughs> battle, and I saw Tommy at me, and then all these people were like, "Oh, Natalie and Tommy about to box." I was like, "Wait, what?" Mm-hmm. So they had offered us like it was not. It was like a very low amount of money mm-hmm. to do the event. Mm-hmm. I was like, Tommy, I just signed a deal with Zeus, and this was two years ago, and I, I've been with Zeus now two years. Mm-hmm. I said, if you want to do something, let's set it up over here with, with Zeus. Right, let's get this money. Because he got, he got the bag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Zeus Network, Lemmy Plummer, he got the bag. But I, didn't, I was like, I don't even know who these people are over here at this other thing, and they only offer an X, Y, and Z. Girl, mm-hmm. no. So two years go by. She's in talks to come on baddies, Mm -hmm. and we were cordial on the show. Like, there was never really like beef with her and I, Mm -hmm. but we are very different people. So, I knew eventually we were never gonna like be besties. Mm -hmm. But for the sake of us getting along on the show, we kind of tried. Okay. But then Lemmy decided to do this boxing match with Floyd, Mm -hmm. and um, he was like, hey, maybe. Natalie and Tommy can be a part of the event and fight too. So he went and pitched it to the money team. Mm -hmm. And because Floyd was picking who would be a part of his uh, exhibition fight, undercards, all that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I mean, I'm not even, all I've been doing is working with Zeus for the last two years. Like the gym, not really. Working out, not really. Like Mm -hmm. I haven't been doing any of that. So I was like, guys, uh, I mean, if Tommy wants to do it, What's the check like? Mm-hmm. 
And the check was nice. I said, I'll do it for that. And Tommy was like, I'll do it. And then, and then it became a thing. And then, then, then Floyd was like, yeah. And then when we announced it, people were like, it was up. Then when did the beef between y'all actually become real? So we get to London mm -hmm. the day all the talent lands. Mm -hmm. It was the last night in London. Chris Brown was having a party. I mean, a um, oh, sorry, concert. Oh, okay. At the O2 Arena, the same place we were gonna fight the next weekend. And I was like, oh, we should go up there. Like, let's go see the arena. I had never been to the O2 Arena in London. Yeah. It's like their big arena. Mm -hmm. Chris Brown's last night is sold out because he had did like four nights sold out in in uh, London at the O2. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh, I right, bet. Like, Tommy, you want to go? She, we're staying in the same hotel. She was like, okay, I'm gonna get ready, hair, makeup, my glam team. Let's mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. We get there, and Tommy had a few too many drinks because we're backstage. Okay, mm -hmm. we're backstage with with CB's team, and you know, and 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 she just starts wiling out like. She sees Chris Brown's son walking mm -hmm. by, and she the baby's super cute. Yeah. And she was like, oh, my God, the baby. Mm -hmm. And the mom, I don't know, you know, like, I don't know them. I don't know the mom. I don't know his kids or anything like that. And any kid, anybody's kids is, just like, off limits. Yeah. Like, you could say, like, hey, Nat, look. Oh, my God, it's his little son. He's cute. Mm -hmm. She just, like, want, ran over there to, like, see the baby, and mm -hmm. they slammed the door on her, like, backstage, with the room he was in. Right. And she started banging on the door, like, Bitch, I went up to doubt it wasn't that serious. I just came to say your kid was cute. Bitch. Like, just start wilding. You can't do that with nobody, child. I'm telling you. So when the door opened, Tommy, it was like maybe like three minutes later. Mm -hmm. Two, three minutes later. Mm -hmm. Me, Jonathan, mm -hmm. Jonathan Bad Boy Jonathan, and Roly Poly from the Zeus Network, yeah. we're back. We're, we're the only ones standing there. Mm -hmm. Tommy didn't walked off and she like exiting because she's mad. Oh, fuck this shit. Da -da -da. She's just being weird. Yeah. Uh, drunk. Right? Mm -hmm. She leaves. Mm -hmm. When the door opens, it's security. And they start kind of beefing with um, Jonathan because he's the only guy standing there. And so Jonathan gets in a fight with multiple people backstage yeah. and it's just up. But you know, just... he was by his, well, the No, only he was guy. with us, but it, it, she just left us in this weird situation where I'm trying to tell Chris's mother and everyone, this is, no, 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 oh. guys, hold on, wait. It's a misunderstanding. Tommy's gone. She was the one banging on the door. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, Zeus calls a meeting, the CEO. Like, mm -hmm. uh, all of the talent, everyone from production, meet here in the conference room of the hotel. Mm -hmm. And we there, and Tommy, and we get to all arguing about how she left us, right. and and this happened, and that happened when she left, and this person got in a fight with security, and then, she, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. She I didn't bang on no door. Oh. And Roly was like, you banged on the door where the baby was. She said, I didn't do that. And then <laughs> <laughs> Roly was like, were you high? Were you drunk? Were you off Percocets? <laughs> and so she turns and looks at me because she thinks maybe I told that she <laughs> Did you see her do Percocets? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I don't tell people's business. So I'm like, I'm like, so I'm just over there eating my fries and she just Part 10. Like, pop, 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 10. <laughs> <laughs> so she backhands me while she walking by. Oh yeah, it's gonna be up now. Like, it was just like, girl, like she just does a lot. Why she, she had on them scrubs though? Like she was oh. going to go. <laughs> girl, can she say right before she walked in, someone asked her about the scrubs, and she said she was doing a, a scrubs commercial down in the lobby of the hotel for the scrubs. Oh, company. she was doing promo. Promo stuff. What if okay. she wants round two? Well, there were three rounds, but what if she wants a Whole new. I said, you got time for that. Yeah, no, nah, we got too many other people trying to call me out for the title now. Yeah, like Krishan. What's everybody that? wants? Everybody the, wants y'all to fight. Why? I don't know, cause it because it always be up with everybody. Like it's just always up, and then now I have this belt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody wants the belt from you now. now. It's the belt. Like y'all, I'm bowing out. We're I got like I got season. like black ink crew people I'm coming from. Like who is this? Like everybody just wants. It's like crazy now. And what, it became what, like a thing now. So what are you gonna do about it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend my money that I just made from my win. I'm going to enjoy my victory for right now. And then maybe we can get to training and then we can maybe get to another fight. And talk about the next one. Speaking yeah. of spending, what's the, most, like, what's the most extreme thing that you ever bought? Uh, or spent the most money on? I mean, I, I've been buying like, I mean. You've been balling out for so long. No, no but. <laughs> You're like, it's really hard but to But not like cars. I've been buying cars lately. Damn. I've with I've been an buying S? cars. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, I've been liking cars. How come? I don't know. I've just been getting into the car shit. Like, mm -hmm. I, I like I like the cars right now. So, and then property. Mm -hmm. So, I actually am really interested in getting something out here in, in Houston. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I like the Texas vibe out here in Houston. We have a lot of space. 
I feel yeah. like we have a lot of like, and I like big houses. I feel like yeah, yeah. I like the space, like big, big ass houses, and like I feel like we have a lot of opportunity for those types of things. Like we don't got that many shows coming out of Houston. Yeah, well, Literally. Bad Boys is coming to Texas, well, and that's yes, gonna yes, be yes. crazy. Yeah, so you're gonna take over with that because that's it. Literally, nobody else. What happened? Like that. Wasn't y'all supposed to do Loving Hip Hop Houston? We were. I that don't was know like what... one day. I was on that <laughs> set. What they start shooting. They start shooting. Yeah. I was supposed to be up out here. It was be, a lot uh, of drama. Oh, shit. For real. But that was going to be like, uh, we was all waiting for that too. But yeah. we just don't know how to act. But I feel like you can handle that. Nah, yeah, I mean, well, right? well, we had that. We had some of that going on on this season. <laughs> right. Shootings and. <laughs> and the bad. You know, the, cat, the thing about the cast with bad girls is you just never know what you're going to get. Or with the bad boys. Mm -hmm. Like, they be really with the shit. Jonathan had a chair last season. <laughs> He, like, chair. he, he was picked just that chair out of London. Like he, Jonathan is yeah. Now, if that's what's the uh, definition of Texas, woo, he is right. a tornado. Ooh. Who gonna be the security? That's what I'm trying to see. Like it's gonna be hard it's, having you, security on the all male cast. I was like, poor security. So, do you already <laughs> before the shows and stuff like really start? Do you already have like who gonna be the stars of the show? I mean, no. The crazy thing is, is like. Jonathan came into last season, right, mm -hmm. on Bad Boys, and he wasn't even a official cast member. Mm -hmm. He he was, we were, we didn't even know, we were like, uh, I mean, I knew, mm -hmm. but I had to, like, try to sell him to the team, and they're like, oh, a hairdresser, like, a hairdresser. Uh, he is that hairdresser. But but what does that mean in the Bad Boys? They were like, is he going to be doing hair on the show? Like, nobody, I said, no, no, he really with the shit. He's going to turn this bitch up. I didn't know that, honestly, before either. Like, Jonathan I is lit, and the fans Love Jonathan. True. We do. Like he only came on two episodes of last season. And, and he's already a lit fan. the whole whole fan favorite beyond like insane. They love him. So what can people expect from Bad Boys here in Houston? Oh, it te no, well, so it's Bad Boys, Texas, because we'll Texas. be taking over multiple cities oh, yeah, right, right. in Texas. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're about to turn up. Just like the baddies. We're going from city to city and we're about to light the shit up. Do you have a date for the premiere already? Mm, it, so everything with Zeus is always like about a month turnaround. Okay. So if we start filming now, probably like in a month or so, a month and a half, the first episode will drop. Premiere has to be in Houston though, even though it's Texas. Absolutely. I mean Houston, right? Okay, babe, we pulling up. Yeah, show. you show. gotta pull up. <laughs> have to. Like, yeah, she yeah. said have to. I'm like, no, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Anything else y'all want to add to before I let y'all go? Let no. them know where they can find y'all everywhere on Instagram if they're not I hit. mean, Lo London at... Lo, Lo London, say I, something, Lo. I, yeah, I think Lo needs to really see, like tell us, like would you come back for the next season? Oh, everybody been asking me that what question. Happened? I don't know. I was like, first of all, I didn't get invited to London. Uh, so I'm just trying to see him. I'm you, why she didn't get invited, Natalie? Cool. I want to go everywhere with Zoo. <laughs> why she didn't get invited? Why she was on okay. the private jet to St. Croix. But and only Zoo's... you and like one other bully got to come on that trip. Like, love, just, love is spoiled. I am spoiled. Love spoiled. Wanna go because everywhere. I wanted to fight with Natalie about the <laughs> master bedroom at <laughs> every house. I'm like, she I get my the master room. bedroom over me. I said, girl, what? I said we can share the room though. Right. So if I come back, then you want yes, the master bedrooms. I need to sh be your roommate. Okay, for period. sure. Okay. Because okay. I don't want to be in the small room shit with people. <laughs> I feel like I done did my time. Gotta I have earned my stripes. Okay. Okay. That's and, one. Um, one thing. What else would you want? If I do come back, I, I would love to come back, but I just want to see something a little different. Like I just feel like we didn't. I didn't get to know a lot of the girls outside of after the show. Maybe I hung out with them on our off days or whatever. But we never like. Sat right. down, like had a group, like sleep over in the house. Like we mm -hmm. didn't do nothing fun. It was just non-stop <laughs> drama. drama. But that's what happens when the that's bad true. girls all get together. Like everybody wants to be the alpha girl. Everybody wants to run the show. Everybody has something to say about the next girl. Or mm -hmm. oh, she she's her butt this. Or oh, she's prettier. Oh, her hair. Oh, her nails. It's like it's the weirdest shit ever. The drama like, creates itself. Literally, yeah. That's what. And I then mean. we never get to really have fun. <laughs> Like, I'm like, let's just, you know, like, play a prank and then let it turn into a fight. Like, let's do something oh, yeah. fun first. It was just wake up, everybody mad. Girl, out every here single yelling, day, though? Every, every, day. every single day. day. Even when we're not filming. Like, it, it was to the point where I'm like, Natalie, I need a mental day. Like, we're in Vegas. I was at the Bellagio one by night. Yourself. By myself. Spa in days, a room. We all went out. Shopping. Out. Went out to eat. Because I'm like... We not even filming. Like, what y'all so mad about? Yeah. I'm just not at that place in life. So, yeah. I mean, I would love to come back on baddies. Like, you know, I'm I'm with the shit. Okay, wherever, so that's whenever. a yes, Natalie. She said, like, sign her. Whatever, <laughs> but whatever. the thing is, I can't promise her it's not going to be the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No promises about that. Yeah, cause now that's I the know. Thing. Now I just know that she to stay ready. Like, yeah. I got my short nails. Oh, you know? yeah, because you came in with the money nails on the first episode. I, I, had, five, I had real $100 bills in my nails. Like, <laughs> oh, no. Nah. It was crazy. They were oh, all broke. Like, all my nails. Like, this $100 bill. 
bills and I got to pay for the set. That was another 300. Like, <laughs> this is too much. Hold up. This is the first day. I thought I was going to have like a week to like <laughs> get cute, like get, get settled in. Then, like, bitch, no. what's up? But first no. day on site. It was on Chris Shaw mad because, well, but like. Why was she mad? Yeah, what did you say again? Because what happened? Natalie was being messy. Oh, what happened? Natalie was story producing, being messy, <laughs> telling Krishan, Low said, I'm upstairs. <laughs> I'm in the room. It's not my scene. I hear the door open and I hear, um, what she say? Uh, hey, Krishan, you know, everybody was upset about you being late. They said, cut. And then I hear Lemmy in the background say, Lo said. And here's Natalie. They start the scene over. Well, Lo said. I'm like, oh, okay. But you know, I'm like, I didn't say anything like crazy, so I didn't think. You just said I didn't, she's I don't late. know. I didn't know Krishan. I had she said only she was seen late. her on the All internet. All she said was like she was late. That was it. Yeah, I said she was late, and it's like everybody's like, you should know not to say nothing to Krishan. Like, who the fuck is Krishan? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't. They like she she moved like that. I'm like, well, I don't talk to people that you know. If you're having a conversation with them, it turns into a fight that fast, especially when I wasn't being aggressive. Now, mm-hmm. if I was standing up over her in her face, yeah. like you was late yesterday. Da, yeah. da, da, da. Like, no, it was just <laughs> like okay. She was late to the she was late to the photo shoot. Okay. Like hours late. And like I was that. getting ready to go out. I'm yeah. like I'm trying to go out tonight. Mm-hmm. Like we was going to French Montana house yeah. to a park. <laughs> Like, I don't care. I really don't care about you being late, but I'm just addressing the situation because we having a group meeting, so I'm just letting it be known. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you was late. You wasted everybody's time. You left early. We didn't get to do a group She's picture. like, who wasted everyone's time? <laughs> <laughs> and Lo was like, Lo didn't know what to say. Lo was like, I mean, you. You was late. Right. <laughs> I mean, but it wasn't just you. And then she was like, wait, but who wasted everybody's time? And before Lo could even say it again... They fighting. And I was like, wait, what? I was like, so yeah, annoyed. Nah. Yeah, mm. it be lit. But I mean, and we still have like the thing <laughs> is, there's still hell more fights this season. And it's right. I'm already knowing it. There has to be a fight every episode at least. Yeah, but <laughs> it's that, not an episode. That's crazy, right? <laughs> oh, I have another question for you. What's the most successful show been? Baddies is the number one show. Baddies on um, Zeus Network. Bigger than all of them. Mm-hmm. So Baddies last season did um, in like four months, 54 million streams. And then now with Baddies West, we've already surpassed the Baddies South. Oh shit! So Baddies is not South. Okay, so Baddies, baddies over South. Jocelyn. Well, That's what I yeah, said it goes, too. It, it's, it's, I mean, Baddies, Bad Boys, Krishan. That's the order. Okay. That's the order. I mean, baddies, may, then yeah, bad I mean, boys. yeah, and then maybe probably Jocelyn. Yeah, but it is definitely Baddies, Bad Boys, and mm-hmm. Crazy in Love is doing extremely well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Krishan and Blueface, and um, we can expect the season two. Yeah, they're they're doing a season two. <laughs> Big Somehow. bags, man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah, share the world. The bag is getting too Listen. big. And the funny thing is, you know, I I I was the one who brought Krishan up to Zeus mm-hmm. because originally they she was her and Blue were doing the Blueface show, mm-hmm. Blue or Blueface um, the dating show. No, no, they were doing like oh, a bad girls, but like for a, Blue yeah, face. what does he call it? It's called Blueface Bad Girls or something. I don't know. Blue what Girls, Blue Girls Blue Club, girls. Blue Girls that, Club. That yeah. is the name of what it. What did that come on? It wasn't on. It's Zoom. on OnlyFans. He he oh. does it on his OnlyFans. So and that's, that's how they met. right? That's how they met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was on there, and then I was like, Nah, she oh, she need to be on something bigger. So once her season was over, I had reached out, and she had just got out of jail. She had stole his car or whatever yeah. and went to Oklahoma, <laughs> I and I went picked her up. And brought her up to Zeus, and I was like, "Bro, you need to, you need to come over here. Like, you need to come on Baddies." She said, "No, no, me and Blue need our own show. So you could get your own show, but mm-hmm. let's let's get on this one right now because we're about to start it in like a couple weeks, mm-hmm. and then see what go, what we could do with your own show after." And then she she came and lit Patty South up. <laughs> That's like, a good sign. No, I she lit it, it up. Good. And then I love the fact that her and Blue, like Blue, to me, Blue Face is a comedian. Hilarious. Yeah, I was gonna I say. I have never laughed is, so hard I don't, on set. I don't understand. Like, Bro, <laughs> that man is like, like the they are like the new Stevie J and Jocelyn Absolutely. of like Love and Hip Hop. One hundred and ten percent. But bigger, way funnier, all of that shit. Wilder. Like, wilder, young, very young, much wilder, yeah. and just like they got that like sh- the audience of like that young group. Mm-hmm. Krishan's doing her big one. Um, the music is her song. She's still gonna vibe. be doing her big one even though she's pregnant. I mean, I want her to. <laughs> I <laughs> want Krishan to. I mean, she's pregnant for sure. Yeah, yeah. And she needs to probably calm down a little bit, right? <laughs> you would think. I would imagine, but yeah, she but she's what still is. Mean. She's. I mean, I don't know what that means. I think when I was pregnant, I sat the fuck down. As but, you should. <laughs> but Krishan I mean, is... I hung, out with, I hung right. out with Krishan in right. Super Bowl weekend, and she was good. She didn't drink. Like, really? Right. We had a good time together. Like, really? Yeah. 
a good time. I even got too messed up that she was taking care of me at the what? end of the night. So when I woke up. Now Mama Kashan taking yeah. care of me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait. How do I not know this story? Right. Well, I don't even believe do anything that. that's coming out of your mouth right now. I woke up and I was like, whoa, where am I? And she was like, you was messed up. Like, luckily she we not care? weird bitches. We made sure you got home. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what? thank you. Like, But yes, I was so shocked. <laughs> Prashan took care of me. That's cool. She made sure I was good. Right. We and was partying she was, okay. to the crack of dawn okay. at Super Bowl weekend. So there is a such thing as a calm Krishan. I've yes. never really seen that. <laughs> but I'm, so that's, like, I'm a little shocked over this here. This is news to me. That's news to yeah, me. Yeah, I guess because she wasn't drinking. You know, some that liquor gets you turned up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, but I mean, yeah. I've I've taken her out to dinner a few times since she's been pregnant. And she's still lit. <laughs> <laughs> so she'd be turning right. the restaurants up, girl. What are you talking about? But no, I think there'll be a, like, she'll, she'll, she'll calm down a little bit. Mm-hmm. But I mean, she's still doing, they're on, they're about to, or they have started season two. Mm-hmm. And, um, so that means we're gonna get the episode in a month. You said I don't know what that said, that shows a little when, different. No, because because the thing about them is like she's pregnant right now, right? So we gotta do things like the maybe like a baddie baby shower oh. or a big baby baby shower, a gender it, reveal yeah, yeah. or a gender reveal. So that mm-hmm. could be a little tricky when people are pregnant mm-hmm. because that's really we're following a little bit of like that stuff too. I forgot about. That. Yeah, that's so true. that's not that's not that easy to turn around something like that. But she, <laughs> Krishan, Krishan, woo, <laughs> she definitely gonna come with some shit this season. I already know. Yeah, and then they they just were supposed to do Rolling Loud. I, I thought, thought he that. they wouldn't let Blue in or something. Yeah, she, I got her on the phone because I was surprised because I knew the cameras. We had cameras following him for that. So I don't. Yeah. So do y'all have to like scrap that episode and stuff? No, that's gonna air because that's a whole thing. Oh, what am I saying? Yeah. You're gen- marketing genius. Right? I'm like, no, wait a minute. Perfect. What happened? Look at my Tell me what happened. I missed that. Make sure the You'll see. It'll, it'll, it'll air. So, yeah, mm. no, but they're they're entertaining. Blue, blue, blue faces. He was Man, made for this. He was meant for this shit. For and people be giving them a hard time, but, uh, you know, like, because I don't really condone the domestic violence stuff. Like, I'm not into that part of all that. Like, I'll be like, come on, y'all. Yeah. But... The other shit he be doing the pranks and like it, where he records her sitting on toilets mm-hmm. and like in Maybe public we need bathroom. Blueface on baddies. Oh. He needs to be I on mean, bad he boys. Basically lived he with us. He <laughs> did. He because he really came on the road with us. For real? <laughs> yes, he was in like every city with us. How come? Because Krishan can't do nothing without him. Oh my god! In real god. life, her man, her man, her man, her man. I can't, I can't, I can't. Can, can. <laughs> That's Damn. literally what she would do. She would wake up and I'd be like, wait, what? He's still here? <laughs> like, yeah. They're attached. They're very attached. And that's, but you know. They're doing it. Y'all are getting bags. Everybody getting money. Congratulations to y'all yeah, on everything. Thanks, and thanks, let everybody yeah. know too where they can find y'all on Instagram and everywhere. Yeah. Um, y'all can follow me on Instagram at low, L-O underscore London. Yes, and Natalie, Real Miss Natalie Nunn on all the fun little platforms. I'd be talking shit on Twitter. <laughs> yes, you be on y'all Twitter be on TikTok? I do be we have wait TikTok. our TikTok every Natalie time I look get us see she make money off her TikTok oh. so she uses us she Natalie is a, making the money number off one everything. pimp what do you mean she making money she right is now the real we she is right we, now. we, we, we be money. somewhere and I be like oh we gotta do this TikTok real quick we don't even know the dance nothing and I be like just do something <laughs> she showed to us in an hour a million views she's does. like yes we gotta yeah. do this again cool. <laughs> I do be doing that to y'all no I feel that I feel that that's your favorite platform or is it now I cannot stand TikTok real. Girl, TikTok, I really feel like it's for the kids. It is. I don't know how to do none of them dances. I'm ready for them to ban TikTok because I don't know any of the dances. Do you dances. know how to do the one that's like... No. No. Oh. <laughs> we don't know you remember the one, one we tried? We, we learned two moves. That we learned no, two moves and that, we started doing the robot. We started doing the robot. <laughs> I don't know how to do none of that shit. But I'll post something up there for... Damn, for I was going to say we can make a TikTok, but I really don't know TikTok like that either. Now, we, if like we be TikTok. having battles, like, we'll be like two at a time. I'll be like, low versus... Low and you do one, and then me and this one will do one, and be like, whose was better? And we get them going like that, like because I don't like like the gimme besos. Uh, oh that, yeah, that was the easy one. Oh yeah, yeah, love we did brother. that, and that one went viral for the baddies. Ooh. But I don't, girl, no. Those dances are a lot. They be a lot. I don't know how the kids be doing them. I'm like, because they're on, they're on that shit all day. They like, watch it 50 million times to learn the dance. Yeah. I don't got time for that. <laughs> I <laughs> definitely don't. Hell no. But y'all gotta come back up here too whenever the premiere yes, happens too. Yes, for yes. sure. Bet. Um, can y'all say <clears throat> 97 on the box? Yeah. It's your girl, Lo London, and I, make sure you tune in to 97.9 The Box. Professional pro. <laughs> yes. Natalie, go for it. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Natalie Nunn, and I love that y'all are tuning in to 97.9 The Box.